The terms Kama Sutra and pornography are often used interchangeably in popular culture, but it's crucial to recognize that they are not synonymous. While both may encompass sexual content, these two concepts serve fundamentally different purposes and carry distinct connotations. In this script, we will explore the essential differences between the Kama Sutra and pornography, shedding light on their unique roles and significance. Kama Sutra 1. Ancient Wisdom the Kama Sutra is an ancient Indian text, traditionally attributed to the sage Vatsyayana. It dates back over 2000 years. This text is a comprehensive guide to human sexuality, relationships, and the art of living. It encompasses a wide range of topics related to love, desire, and human relationships. Two. Holistic Approach While the Kama Sutra does cover sexual techniques and positions, it goes beyond the physical aspect of intimacy. It delves into the ethical, aesthetic, and psychological dimensions of desire. It provides insights into how to build emotional connections, foster mutual respect, and enhance the overall quality of personal relationships. 3. Cultural and Philosophical Significance The Kama Sutra is not merely a manual of sexual positions but a cultural, historical, and philosophical work of significance. It reflects the societal values and norms of its time and contributes to a broader understanding of human experiences. 4. Educational Purpose its primary aim is to educate individuals about the art of love and how to lead a fulfilling and balanced life. It seeks to enhance one's understanding of human desires and relationships. Pornography 1. Explicit Sexual Content Pornography primarily refers to explicit sexual content, often presented in the form of images, videos, or writings. The central purpose of pornography is to provide sexual stimulation and gratification to its audience. 2. Lack of educational or artistic aspects Unlike the Kama Sutra, pornography typically lacks educational, artistic, or cultural elements. It focuses on graphic depictions of sexual acts intended solely to arouse the viewer or reader. 3. Entertainment and Arousal Pornography is created primarily for the purpose of sexual entertainment and arousal. It is designed to cater to sexual fantasies and desires. Conclusion in summary, it is vital to differentiate between the Kama Sutra and pornography. The Kama Sutra is an ancient and culturally significant text that offers a holistic perspective on human sexuality and relationships, emphasizing education and personal development. On the other hand, pornography is explicit sexual content created for the sole purpose of sexual arousal and entertainment, often devoid of the educational or cultural elements found in the Kama Sutra. By understanding these distinctions, we can appreciate the unique roles and values of each in our society.